Hey everyone, Zef here, and welcome to Operation Wolf Overview. It seems like we're going back in time to the times that I wasn't even alive, so who am I to judge what we will see today? <laughs> it is some kind of a trend to have retro games coming back to the virtual reality. On paper, it's a pretty good idea, though you also need to remember to keep the same vibe and ambience of the original game, because then some fans will get pissed off, especially in nowadays culture, and then in the midst of remakes and such in the gaming industry. It's definitely an interesting time to be alive now. <laughs> So Operation Wolf is a rail-on action shooter game where released back in 1987 you transport yourself into the full-on action world that doesn't hold back and your goal is to defeat the shady organization led by the General Viper and free the hostages that are held in their camps. It's a specific genre that some people might enjoy and some completely banish it from existence. It's at heart an arcade game where something moves you and you just focus on shooting the bad guys around you, if it's for the high score or some personal satisfaction, you decide what tickles you in the gameplay. I do enjoy the graphic style that they used, cause it doesn't look low quality, doesn't matter what platform you play it on, and the game uses a classic arsenal that everyone is familiar at this point. Is it gonna be something for me? Not necessarily, though I'm assuming it will be good for a quick period of 10 minutes or something, to enjoy the killing of it all and and just have some murder batteries charged in for some time. We'll just judge the mechanics and if everything works properly, cause I have nothing to say for the series altogether. And concepts like that tend to be good nonetheless the setting of the goal, like it's a safe bet to entertain people <laughs> essentially. Let's go to the gameplay. Recognize me, Colonel Jones. It's nice to see you again, Sergeant. The world needs you once again. Codename Operation Wolf. This one's not gonna be a walk in the park. In recent months, a new criminal network has been wreaking havoc. Drugs, weapons, terrorism, the whole lot. And to top it all off, they're developing a powerful super weapon. Our team has done a good job. We've identified a number of bases around the world, as well as the leader of the organization, who goes by the name General Viper. But we don't know where he's hiding, or what the secret weapon is. What's more, these mercenaries have taken hostages. We need you, Sergeant. We need to disband the group, take out their weapon, kill the General, and free the hostages. You know, everything it takes to be a hero. <laughs> it's so old school. Okay, what we have here is kinda low resolution. Textures are mediocre as well. The character models kinda bland. But we'll stick empty. Okay, you know. Help me! Help me! Now! <laughs> No hostel for a med kit or something? Help me! Oh my god. Whoa. The hand can't be detached, so... Help. It's a bit awkward. Shush it! Oh. Well.
grip, but like I'm gripping the whole weapon. Oh, I mean, that's... Too simplistic, honestly. Okay. <laughs> Find out where the communication center is, and don't forget to free the hostages wherever you find them. Good luck, Sergeant. Or kill them, <laughs> like... Because I need just one shot. Okay, I can't pause. Our reports moving in the distance. Stay alert, Sergeant. And think before you shoot. Apparently many civilians are trying to flee. So... We're getting moved automatically. I mean, the graphics aren't crazy, honestly. Oh, okay. I mean, I like the classic. Whoa. <laughs> this is like two spread. Yeah, just precision. And the occasional grenades, I guess. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> intelligence indicates that this is a supply area. If you survive, you should find some information oh. here. One of the mercenaries talked. The communication center is further along the shore. Take the boat. Come on, Sergeant. Don't let this ship turn into the Titanic. Oh, it keeps going, okay. Ah, the missions have acts. I guess the animals have bonuses. But I don't want this thing here. Do I have it in the settings or something? Maybe display visor? No. Oh, whatever.
<laughs> nice. She's still on the run. I just noticed this HD. <laughs> Those little birds are very sad though, like... You need to really pay attention. Sergeant, our radar shows the camp is just over that hill. Get moving. Those things up there aren't canaries. They're snipers. They sing a deadly tune. Be careful, Sergeant. The alarm. You've been spotted, Sergeant. Show them the stuff heroes are made of. be good when it gets too chaotic. Can be a bit tiring. Okay. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus, his bullets are so fast.
just tanking it, like. Mission accomplished. Bravo, Sergeant. Now, go to the communication center. Those intros could be further. Yeah, I mean, it didn't seem too hard for my preference. <laughs> I mean, it is a pure arcade. Is it something necessarily for me? Not really nowadays, but it for sure has some old school spirit. The graphics could be a little bit better if it's the textures or the resolution or just the art style in general, like it's a little bit basic-ish. I was never familiar with the original, but it seems to be paying some homage to it. I would appreciate maybe holsters or just more manual VR stuff, because it's just very, very, very arcadey, which I guess for some people it's fine. And the game overall is just fine. Like, it's nothing groundbreaking or changing the game. Like, <laughs> it's just, it is what it is here.